My full name is Karen Fretchell, Karen Lynn Fretchell. Ah, and is there a story behind your name? No story, not that I know of. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and I have three older siblings, two brothers and a sister, and we all moved away. Oh. <laughs> um, slowly, one at a time, but uh, yeah, so nobody was really in Pittsburgh after a while, but. And mm -hmm. are your siblings still like really spread out or are they? My brothers are in the South. My one brother is in New Orleans or um, Houston and my other brother is in uh, Savannah mm -hmm. and my sister is in Illinois. So I was, that's why I moved out here. I was lived in Illinois for quite a while and mm -hmm. um, maybe 17 years, something like that. Okay. Um, and then I got married and moved up to Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And where do you work and what do you do? I work for Trustmark Insurance and I work in the actuarial department assisting with the actuaries. And, and I've been there probably 21 years now. Do you like mm -hmm. it? I do. It's fine. Um, the change of, from working at home now is, you know, I kind of like people, so it's a little bit different. The best part is not having to drive down there anymore. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, yeah, I like it. It's it's good. This will be my last job. <laughs> nice. Hopefully with many years after it. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. So can you think of any individuals who have had a really big influence on your faith life? I have to say my sister. Um, I moved out here uh, to the Midwest after my mom had passed away. And my sister and I became very close. We were close before, but she had lived out here. And so we really grew closer family-wise and religious-wise. And so I know she has always been there to guide me through a lot of stuff. So, mm -hmm. Older sister? Yep. Yeah. I'm very thankful to have her. I can't really imagine my life without her. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Um. When are you most aware of God's presence? Um, several places, but mainly in nature. When I'm in nature, I uh, love taking a walk and feeling God's presence with me, even if my dog's with me. I love walking on the beach and know, hearing those uh, waves rolling in on the ocean, that God is with me. Um, I think that's one of my favorite times, actually the beach. So, but uh, a lot of um, outdoorsness. When I used to ski, I could always feel his presence when I would be on top of a mountain. So I'm like, how can you not believe in God? Look at this beautifulness. You know, it's so beautiful. So definitely outdoors. Mm -hmm. Nice. What are some of your gifts? What are the things that you're good at or like doing? Um, I think I'm a very good listener um, and caring person for others. And I really do enjoy um, caring for others. I did get in involved in the Stephen ministry and I was uh, didn't know if I really wanted to do that. But once I got involved in it, I really am glad I am a part of it. Um, I really do like helping people where I can, um, even baking or cooking a meal for somebody. So. Mm -hmm. Now, there other. Do you have other hobbies or things you like to do when you have free time? Well, I have picked up doing a little crafting. I went up to see Joe's aunt. Every time I go visit her, she always is crocheting or something. So, I normally try to get in the mood with that. And I love gardening in the summer, mm -hmm. though getting on my hands and knees isn't quite as fun as it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> and I do love spending time with my family, especially my great nieces and nephews, they always bring me tons of joy. So that's why I enjoy seeing the kids at church as well, because they're just the cutest little things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. When did you join Covenant? I've been a member for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. And what yeah. brought you to Covenant? Well, my old pastor from Greg Bostrom was my pastor in Illinois and married Joe and I, along with Joe's priest, because Joe is quite um, Catholic. And so Greg gave me the name of 
Melanie and um, Victoria and said, this church is right down the road from where you guys are. So you should check it out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's how I joined. Pretty much, I really enjoyed their sermons and mm -hmm. felt very much at home at Covenant. And now we've had a new change of everybody and I just love it. Uh, you guys are great. We are really blessed to have a whole new role of um, pastors and, you know, life keeps moving on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, why is church important to you? I need that time to um, slow down and listen to some wisdom that you guys tell us and apply it to my life, see that it does apply to my life. Um, I need also the um, congregation, the people there, the fellowship is uh, really wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I think once you get involved with the church, um, it's really easy to meet everybody because it's not a big church, but people are very open and wanting to be social and friendship, have a friendship with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what do you appreciate most about church and church community and all that? I love it because it brings me closer to God. It makes me more aware of my blessings and it helps me to think of other people as well, not just um, myself, but to reach out and help others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.